Now the person coming up really does not need an introduction but I would hate to get off this stage without saying at least a few words about him. Well, he started his journey at the Taj Bombay in 1974 with a salary of 150 rupees. And uh, when he first told his family he's going to be a chef, they were like, "Tum khan sama banna chahte ho?" With reactions like this, he went on to host and feed a bunch of dignitaries. He traveled with Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He's actually the first person who made uh, Bill Clinton try dahi vada for the first time when Ambani's were hosting dinner for him. He fed the Obamas, the Brangelina, and um, yeah, he's here with us today. So can we have a huge round of applause for Mr. Hemant Oberoi? Ladies and gentlemen, young Gerja. You are not the young young team of tomorrow. What I call them, Gen Next. You are Gen Text, I think. <laughs> and um, of course, we have tried to cope up with the Gen Next and Gen Text over the years. This is 40 years behind me. and um always i get the inspiration from young people like you who are uh, who want to i want to keep up with the pace what at what pace you are because you are uh, sometimes like my son says chill dad so uh, i i'm getting used to that word chill so whenever they come home late and you ask them for the time they say chill dad so don't worry when you become fathers you will also chill <laughs> it'll come back to you so but now the difference is that one year back i was a chef 30 years i was a executive chef and the corporate chef of taj group of hotels and uh, it was a good life everybody thought i was traveling so well i was going around the globe i was called a globe trotter chef but uh, little they realize that what goes on behind the scene is much more even the pilot's life is difficult actually i can tell you but uh, you are sitting aram sen pilot is taking you similarly we are the pilots when we are driving in seat and it is difficult when you are doing 4000 meals a day in one hotel and i always used to tell my colleagues 
doctor can kill only one patient on the table, you can kill hundreds. <laughs> so, the difference today is when you become an entrepreneur, you realize the difficulties what you face in this country. At every step, it's always uh, you tell them, sir, there is one window only, the new government says. They say, but every window has got a door behind it. So that becomes a problem in our country to go through everything. Somebody asked me day before yesterday, what is the difference you find actually today? I said earlier it was less sleep, now it is sleepless nights. <laughs> so that's the way the life has been. But I tell you what, like uh, Vandeep said, Things are changing. Five stars are getting a lot of competition, standalone. I did not allow them to get away with it because we are always ahead of others. I always thought to myself, be it Zodiac Grill, be it Wasabi, be it Work, be it Masala Craft or Masala Art Series, be it Blue Ginger, Souk and various other restaurants. We kept up the pace ahead of people. And the name of the game will be be ahead of times, not with the time. With the times you change, today you are no more. You are me too. So you have to be thinking ahead of times. And those people who want to take up this line, a caution, it's a tough line. I can tell you it's a tough line. You have to devote your time, energy, everything. To, you are married to the hotel and your actual marriage might not survive. <laughs> Just a <laughs> but that's the way it is. For us, uh, the hotel is a home where we work and home is a hotel where we go to sleep. So that's the way the life is. Besides that, earning money is not so easy in life. You have to work hard and be passionate about what you do. Follow the passion but not the fashion. That is the mantra of the thing. Fashion, let it follow. But your passion has to be there in whatever you do, whatever you take up. If you are not passionate about don't do it. I will give again an example of my younger son. He wanted to be a fashion designer. He said, no, no, get me admission. Get me into this college, that college. I said, fine. So I said, get the prospects and everything, fill the application form, we'll get you. I said, but one, remember one thing, one line only I give him, no fashion designer walk straight or talk straight. Next morning, he got up, he said, I don't want to be a fashion designer. <laughs> because he went through the entire list. <laughs> no offense to them. But they are all nice guys. <laughs> so, and so much so that he followed my footsteps. He went to CIA and today he became a chef and he is running and looking after a restaurant called Masala Street in San Diego, which we opened just about eight months back. So young kid, the journey has been good. It's a lot of hard work. Still I have to put in about 16 to 18 hours to look after. I call it as SMS, Singapore, Mumbai and San Diego. So I keep on shuttling between three cities and it's tough to maintain the standards, quality, everything. And still, I have good amount of people with me who work and understand me. So it's been good so that I have the people whom I can trust the most. So I wish you all the very best and good success in the years to follow. And I'm thankful to everybody for... I'm thankful to everyone for honoring me on this occasion and thanks a lot.
guys.